Your handshake can say a lot about you, and there's actually new evidence that it reels, reveals rather more than you think. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, your handshake could tell doctors how you are aging. Dr. Warren Sanderson has a solid handshake, and that says a lot. Good. Yeah. Strong, yeah. The Stony Brook University professor just published a study that found handshakes are an indicator of a person's true age. We're trying to look at people by their characteristics, by what their bodies tell us, not what their birthdays tell us. His study in the journal Plus One found hand grip strength corresponds with overall health and predicts how fast we're aging. The strength of people's hand grip was an absolutely wonderful predictor of their future illnesses and their future lifespans. And he found trends. Less educated people with less access to health care have weaker handshakes. Lower life expectancies, higher rates of disease, faster rates of cognitive decline. People take stock of their handshake. I'm wondering, you know, okay, am I being firm enough, not too firm? Is it like a good handshake? Because mm -hmm. they do tell you that it means a lot. I think I try to make it firm just to show like authority. A firm handshake again describes your manhood. But most didn't know the wimpy handshake is more about the likelihood of health problems. My wife has bad arthritis and she can't handshake. Have good health. And you have a good handshake. Fortunately. <laughs> All right, so you shook my hand. How, yeah. how am I doing? You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> How old am I? Don't answer that. <laughs> Dr. Sanderson says his findings suggest the hand grip test should be performed annually at a person's physical. It takes seconds, and he thinks it'll tell a doctor a lot more about age than your birth date. In Port Jefferson, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Mm, well, the handshake study found people with lower education aged four years faster than people with higher education.